Let's talk about M&A, the rumours and movers this morning. OK, well, it's um, we talked about a transatlantic deal yesterday, and here we're talking about something that's trans-Pacific, I suppose. Um, Brookfield Asset Management, uh, ticker BAM in the US, uh, trading around $34, US dollars 50 days, is going to acquire the Australian ports operator Asiano, it's ticker AIO in Australia, um, trading around $8.69. Uh, Brookfield's going to pay roughly 8.9 Australian or 8.9 billion Australian dollars, I should say, which is the equivalent of 6.6 .6 billion US. Um, in terms of the outright valuation for the deal, um, Asiano shares will be valued at around $9.15. That came in at a the deal came in at a 13% premium to uh, Friday's close, so it's quite a nice boost to uh, uh, the fortunes of Asiano shareholders. Uh, the deal was first mooted back in early July, uh, since when Asiano actually reported better than expected profits. I think they're actually up by about 19% um, above uh, analyst forecast, so it was a healthy improvement for their um, thinking in the market now is that perhaps other Australian trophy assets, if I can even say that, might be up for grabs. Uh, this is the largest cross-border deal into Australia since 2011 and you know, it's seen something of a vote of confidence in the long-term future of both the Aussie coal industry and other commodity rated uh, businesses there. Brookfield takes advantage of obviously depressed pricing um, for, the, for the reason that uh, you know we talked about uh, and a weak Australian currency. There will need, need to be some regulatory approval for the deal but, but to Brookfield, which is actually a Canadian company, will list itself in Australia, and it is offering uh, as yeah, as yeah, shareholders yeah, cash or paper alternatives. So it's, you know, it's, it's trying to make itself friendly, uh, and it's, by the sound of it, it's there for the long term. And 